Hello everyone, and today we're actually going to talk about uh, creating a customized Google Classroom banner. Uh, we'll even include a banner that has a GIF in it as well, because I know some people like to make their Google Classroom banners look a little engaging and exciting for the students to see. Uh, so let's begin. So I'm actually going to use uh, Canva for this uh, for this video here today, because Canva has so many uh, templates available for us. So you could just simply just go to their search and you can type in Google Classroom banner. And you will see that they'll provide you with a lot of uh, templates already pre-made, uh, ready to go. And all you really need to do, I'm going to select uh, this one for our class, for instance, and we can just customize it any way we want to. So maybe you like the style of the template. Maybe you like what some of the pictures are inside of it. Uh, and then you can just tweak it any way you want. Maybe you want to alter the name instead of art class. Maybe you want to put in your name uh, completely up to you. And then you can see also on the side, it'll still provide you with lots of different uh, templates already set up for you. So if you wanted to customize this, so instead of saying art class, welcome to maybe it's Indy, or maybe you want to add a new image. So we could always go to elements and we can add graphics, we can add stickers, you can add anything you'd like, just as you would for your own design. So if I wanted this little image here, for example, I could add that in there as well. I'm actually going to delete that for now. Oop, I think I added two by mistake. But that's a simple uh, add in. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go back home because maybe we don't like any of those templates. Maybe we have an idea in our head. Maybe you're one of the, a person that really likes to add in a, like a Bitmoji style classroom uh, banner. Uh, it's completely up to you if you want to make your own. But you're going to click over here where it says customize size. And the width and height now, it will depend on where, how you want it. But generally, 1600 by 400 pixels is the way to go for here. So 1600 by 400 pixels, create new design. And what's great about Canva is that it will give you that set up right away. And then now we could add in our own uh, creativity. Um, so we could just scroll through some of their some templates here, but those aren't for Google Classroom. Uh, maybe we can do, I'm actually going to do another search for Google Classroom banners. Just to speed things up just a little bit here. Maybe I'll throw in Mr. Smith's fourth grade class. Now, perhaps you want to have a little fun with this as well. Maybe you want to add that GIF just to have that little bit of animation. Uh, so what you're going to do, you're, you are going to go back to elements and then you can actually scroll to stickers and we can see that there's some animated stickers in here as well, which is um, a lot of fun to kind of add in. So if I want to go ahead and include maybe this clapping one, we can shrink it, move it over here. I think I keep double clicking by mistake. Maybe if I scroll down a little bit more, we want to add these fireworks. So just some really fun little animated GIFs that you can include in your uh, classroom GIF here for your banner. Okay, so let's get this downloaded and get it uh, set up in Google Classroom. So I'm going to go over to share. And I'm actually going to scroll down until I see download because I want to make sure that I download the right type of file, which is a GIF. So a GIF is basically an animated photo. So that's what we're going to need for our classroom banner. And I'm going to click download and we'll give that a second to download there. All right, looks like it's all set up and downloaded. I'm going to hop back over to my Google Classroom and we're going to remove this, temp this uh, original one here. I'm going to click on customize upload photo, and then select a photo from my computer. So double click on there, should be that last one. And then you're gonna see the classroom photo that I just set up, the GIFs are working. It's preset this way, because I think that's the minimum that they want. I think it's around 800 by uh, 200 or something pixels, but 
we went for the big one at 1600 by 400, just provides more space. We can see that the GIFs are still working. I'm gonna select, click select class theme, give that a second to upload. Okay, so we'll give that another few seconds here. Hopefully my Wi-Fi won't crash on me. There we go, that was actually pretty quick. And then I'm gonna click save. And we can see that our GIFs are working in the banner and this is good to go. We are all set. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you can uh, use and share uh, what you've created for your classrooms. As always, if you're interested in more tips and tricks, feel free to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so very much and hope to see you all soon.